Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today is going to be a grocery haul. It's what I like to upload, it's what we do. I haven't had a grocery haul in a little while. Um, this was about $330 worth of HEB groceries. I have regular groceries, I also have some household products, toiletries, and some things that I didn't think I was going to buy. If you watch my daily vlogs and you saw I meal planned a couple days ago, I have two weeks worth of meals here and my original budget was $200. And then we ended up picking up some stuff for possibly the week after. Like I know for a fact we have two meals for the week after. I picked up some meat that was on sale that I just plan on freezing. A couple things for lunches that I didn't have on the menu originally. And then all the household stuff was not on the menu. Well, I wasn't on my grocery list originally. So $330, a bit over budget, but we were in desperate need of all this stuff. Most of it. Some of it was splurge stuff. So let's jump right in. So this is all my pantry stuff. Not a whole bunch. If you guys know me, you know I've purchased lots of pantry stuff in the past. Didn't really need like a whole lot of chips or crackers or things like that. Just some other stuff that we stocked up on. So normally I buy the smaller bag of rice, but I have rice on the menu I think three times in the next three weeks, whether it be for Mexican night or Asian night um, or just having rice in general. So I bought the five pound bag this time. I have uh, next Sunday braised beef uh, gravy tips crock pot meal. So I had one package of gravy mix already in my count cabinet. So I wanted a jarred gravy to kind of go along with it. Tonight we are doing beef and broccoli in the crock pot and I needed some soy sauce so I picked up the light sauce. I have plenty of regular ranch for the girls but I like the Bold House Farms Classic Ranch yogurt dressing and it was on sale for $2.98 which is a pretty good deal. So I picked up one of those. We have enchiladas on the menu I think next Tuesday. So I picked up two of the mild enchilada sauces. This was an extra, wasn't planning on buying this, but I'd been craving some tomato soup. So if you don't know, I am 17 and a half weeks pregnant <laughs> and tomato soup, even though it's the middle of summer, 100 degree weather sounded really good. So I picked up two of these Campbell's condensed, uh, the family size tomato soups. So I think two of them will feed us just fine. And then I picked up a thing, if you don't like, hominy in your tomato soup. I don't know what's wrong with you. I picked up a thing of white hominy to go in it. And then we all have that with grilled cheese and I have bread and cheese already. So that sounds delicious. Um, if you shop at HEB frequently, you know that they give out coupons for free stuff all the time. Their weekly offer was free Whataburger ketchup or free Whataburger sauces, I should say. So we picked up a Whataburger ketchup, got that absolutely free and a Whataburger creamy pepper sauce. Again, got it absolutely free. Love H-E-B. And then we go through ketchup like water in this house. So I picked up two more. These were actually on clearance for 84 cents, which is an amazing deal for a 20 ounce clearance. Free, I mean a 20 ounce ketchup. Free is obviously better. 84 cents, you cannot beat it. So I picked up two of the Hellman's real ketchup, 84 cents each. Um, we are having, what are we having? I think chicken, cheese chicken enchiladas and corn salsa and it has black beans in it so I picked up a can of black beans. We needed some more of the Mrs. Butterworth sugar-free syrup. I didn't have this on the menu but last time I was trying to make, was I trying to make some pork in the crock pot? I didn't have any barbecue sauce so I picked up two. These are on sale for a dollar each. It's a Kraft Slow Simmered Original Barbecue. Got two of those bad boys. Every time I do these, I feel like I can't breathe, so pardon that. These sounded really good to me. Don't know why, probably because I'm pregnant. <laughs> Pringles, screaming dill pickle. Didn't have this on the menu, but picked it up anyway. Didn't have mac and cheese on the menu, but I picked it up just for like quick lunches and stuff, so I got an elbows and a shells. We have pork carnitas on the menu. I think tomorrow or Tuesday. Andres needed some of these chiles, so we picked up three bags of those. I didn't have breakfast other than cereal on the um, grocery list, but I did pick up some biscuits for biscuits and gravy, so I picked up a country gravy mix. I picked up another lasagna. I have one already, but uh, lasagna is on the menu for Thursday, and I wanted to make pick up another one so that I could make two and put one in the freezer. That seems to work well for us, so picked up another um, pack of lasagna and then a whole bunch of pasta because it was buy one get one free and pasta is something that does not really go bad in your pantry and we can always use it in weeks to come so we needed spaghetti we're having spaghetti I think lasagna maybe next Thursday spaghetti's this Thursday um, Andres picked up the thin spaghetti by accident which is fine it's just angel hair 
we can still use it. So I picked up four of those. They were only 98 cents, which is a really great deal, but you bought two, you got two free. We'll probably only use one, so we'll have more for the future. Large elbows, I um, picked these up. Again, buy one, get one free. Picked them up for Chili Mac. That's an, a meal that I added on for the next week. Um, so going into that third week. Originally, I wanted to grocery shop every two weeks, but going into that third week, I think I, I may have enough food to get us into that third week on this $300. So I'm hoping. Uh, so I picked up the large elbows. And then same thing with the seashells. We're going to do uh, like a meat bolognese with seashells. So these are like the medium sized shells. Buy one, get one free. Another pregnancy craving is a mini frosted donuts. These are so bad for you, but they're so good. So I picked up a little pack for me. Hopefully I eat them sparingly. Some beef broth for the beef and broccoli tonight. Um, we're having tilapia, blackened tilapia tacos on Tuesday. So I picked up some blackened seasoning. Pinto beans for the crock pot. I'm gonna try this again. I tried kidney and black beans on the stove and it worked kind of, but I wanna try pinto beans in the crock pot with some bacon and some cilantro and just a whole bunch of seasonings and stuff. And then we'll kind of have, we can either freeze these or have them with a meal in that third week. So I picked up those. Andres needed some lard, not sure why, but he picked up that. So these were on sale for a dollar off. These are the giant size boxes, the 27 ounces. So I picked up a Lucky Charms, Honey Nut Cheerios, and a Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I picked up two packs of Top Ramen. I actually picked up this one. It's the soy sauce flavor because I thought it was on sale for a dollar oh four for a 12 pack which is an amazing deal i mean that's like eight cents a pack which is crazy um maybe nine cents but it didn't ring up on sale so i'll have to go back and i mean it's only a dollar i think it's 208 normally for this pack so i that's why i originally picked this one up but it ended up ringing up regular price and then the top ramen beef which the girls really like and i just picked up the big pack because it's cheaper and I know eventually we'll use them. We use them sparingly, but they're great, quick, very cheap, inexpensive lunches. Not that good for you, but they're they're so good in general. So picked up two of those. So that's all I got for the pantry. The rest of it was like meat, household stuff, and fresh fruits and veggies. So let's start over here with the meat. This was the bulk cost. All the meat together cost about a hundred dollars. So I mean, for what we got, you know, I guess it's not that bad. But at the same time, that's a third of what I spent, which is crazy. It does rack up very quickly. We will get a lot of meals out of this, so we'll see. Um, salmon, we have that on the menu next week. This will be one meal probably for us, to be honest, maybe with like one or two fillets left over. That was 20 bucks. That's insane. If you guys have a better place to buy salmon, let me know in the comments below. Um, braised, this is beef chuck boneless ribs I got this for the braised beef and gravy next Sunday this will probably give us one meal and a little bit of leftovers I got two of these oh meat grosses me out I got two of these beef eye round steaks this is for the beef and broccoli tonight I got two of them and I plan on making both of them it's about two and a half pounds worth and Honestly, it'll probably just feed us for one meal tonight, maybe a tiny bit of leftovers. The chicken, on the other hand, we will get four full meals out of this because when we eat chicken for one meal, we eat three large breasts and they each come with six and I got two. So we'll get four full meals out of that. Um, we'll get two meals out of the pork carnita, which is not that bad. And then this will be one meal each for the lean ground beef. This was not on my grocery list but I bought it because I do have some regular ground beef in the freezer but I bought it because um, it was on sale so I picked up three of these it's a 93.7 and it's 25% off so I'll just pop these directly in the freezer I got a sausage for the bis biscuits and gravy one morning for breakfast Lola's playing in bags <laughs> and then we needed some pork chorizo you guys know we eat this with eggs quite a bit um, so I picked up five. They're five for five dollars. So that's the meat that I got. It should get us through probably a good three weeks worth in combination with what I have already in the freezer. So that's why I'm kind of hoping I can stretch this this food out to three weeks. But yeah, almost a hundred bucks. That's insane to me. Okay, over here I had um, a great deal on all these household products. HEB is amazing. If you have an HEB, I highly recommend going to it. 
but they had a digital coupon. So just for being a shopper at HEB, um, spend $3 on paper towels, get $3 off your total. So this was $4.60. So I paid $1.60 for a six pack of paper towels, which is not bad. Same thing with the toothpaste. I think this was like $2.25 or something or $2.50. And they had spend $2, get $2 off. So I got $2 off the toothpaste, which is nice. And then the P&G products had various sales, but when you bought three Downy products, you got $5 off. That was a yellow coupon at HEB. And then when you spent $25 on P&G products, they gave you, or no, maybe it was 30. You spent $30 on P&G products, they gave you a $5 Catalina to use towards your next order. And then I had a $3 off household goods in my digital. So I picked up three of the Downy Fresh Protect in the April Fresh, and then three of the softeners in the April Fresh. And I picked up one Lime Away. I had a dollar off coupon on this, so I only paid 76 cents for that. I picked up the Off Family Care Insect Repellent, had a $2 or $3 coupon off this. I think I only paid two bucks for this. The Summer's Eve was on sale two for six. So for all of this, all this stuff right here, it was $32 and I got a $5 coupon back. So $27 for that to me is not bad. So that was that. I paid for it separate because I had so many coupons that I was afraid they weren't going to go through, but they all work seamlessly. So if you have an HEB, definitely check it out. All right, on to the fruits and veggies. Um, some of the fruit that I got was on sale for 50% off. It's like pre-packaged already. Somebody got it or the apples were like... I don't know, they look perfectly fine to me. They're not, they don't have soft spots, they're not turning brown. So I think these were pink lady. And then same thing with these giant green app, Granny Smith apples, they were 50% off. So I think I ended up paying like $1.50 for these and like a dollar, I don't know, 20 for these. They were a really great deal. And then I picked up whatever was cheaper for the girls. The, the Gala apples were on sale for $2.50 for a three pound bag, so I picked up that. Um, the Langer's Juice, the three liter, was on sale a dollar off, so it was cheaper than the one that I normally buy, so I picked up that. These teas were on sale for a dollar off, so it made them $2.97, so this was $10 that I didn't originally plan on spending, but you guys know I like to have my drink fridge stocked, so I picked up a peach iced tea, a diet mango green tea, and a regular mango green tea. Some kiwis, the girls like those, two large mangoes, some... Uh, grape tomatoes, a big thing of three pounds of green grapes. This was on sale for seven something, which is still a little pricey for my taste, but still, I got it. I got one Sara Lee Delightful 45 calorie bread. I got some flour tortillas for breakfast or for, I don't know what, <laughs> um, some carb balanced fajita tortillas for me. I got some burrito tortillas for our quesadillas in a couple days. Some romaine lettuce, I have salad on the menu a couple times. Some coleslaw for our tilapia tacos. So I picked up two of those. Some green beans, we are doing, what are we doing? Chicken pot pie one day that I already have in the freezer. And I think salmon, roasted green beans, roasted red potatoes one night. Some carrots, big watermelon, a pineapple, which I learned if the leaves peel off easily is ready. So these peel off pretty easily, hopefully it's a sweet pineapple. The cantaloupe, I had a dollar off, so I only paid 75 cents for that, which was nice. Um, I had, no, just the mandarins were 650. It's kind of expensive for a five pound bag, but still I got them. I needed one purple onion, one white onion. I got the bananas, this bunch for 50% off, so we'll eat these right now. I had a bunch of coupons for a whole bunch of stuff because my total was like $330, and then I ended up paying 296 seven or 292 and some change and then I did that transaction which is how it came to $330 total but today was I mean it was a good day for what I got I feel but I did go over budget so anyway bag of rusted potatoes for mashed potatoes one night and then for like potato and egg tacos in the morning red potatoes to go with the salmon I got a bunch of green bananas to eat a little later big thing of eggs we were completely out four avocados to make guac for one of the meals, I don't remember. A cucumber for salads. I already had one cucumber in the fridge. The cherries were on sale for $1.98 a pound, which was actually cheaper than grapes. And the girls love cherries, so I picked up a big bunch of cherries. The yogurts, I had a coupon for buy two, get two free. 
these were a dollar a piece so 50 cents a piece i don't mind paying a dollar is kind of expensive um that's the light and fit greek crunch i got coconut chocolate bliss caramel fudge pretzel banana choco nut and s'mores and those all sounded delicious <laughs> i got two things of one percent milk the biscuits for the biscuits and gravy some cream cheese the ricotta for the lasagna queso fresco for my um corn salsa big thing of corn tortillas for fish tacos for enchiladas i think for something else i can't remember a cinnamon raisin thing of english muffins Two things of Texas toast, a five cheese, and a garlic. Those are to go with our Italian meals. This was a splurge item. It was on sale for $2 off, so it made it $7. Um, 22 corn dogs. Not great, but again, a quick, easy lunch. And then we were completely out of waffles, so I bought a big thing of frozen waffles. Whew, that felt like a lot, and it, it does feel like a lot. I need to put everything away. There's an overview of the groceries. Like I said, about $330 for all this stuff here. Not too bad, I'm gonna try and stretch it to three weeks, but if I can't, I'll be back at the grocery store in a couple of weeks to buy a few things. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.